So obviously, as you know, we do a bucket load of painting on brew pig. Um, so far in the rebuild, we've been doing it for three years now. So far in the rebuild, we used about 500 litres of paint. Um, so we're starting to get reasonably good at it. Um, so uh, what I wanted to actually show you though, is there's, there's a few different types of ways you can paint. The most common is basically rolling and brushing and then spraying. We pretty much don't brush um, unless we absolutely have to and it's just a tiny bit or something like that you know it's most of the time we're, we're rolling um, and there's three main rollers that i want to like types of rollers that i want to show you what we use and why we use them and the type of finish and so on that you get from each of them so these are the three rollers so this one here is um you have a look at that it's it's basically just open cell foam um, we use this for if we want to have it gives the thinnest coat of the whole lot um, and we use this for when we want basically the best possible finish that we can get with a roller and if you want to get better again you roll it on and then you tip with a, a really good quality brush um, I don't have any videos of us doing that because we very rarely do it um, mainly because I'm rubbish at it um, and I've given up trying to do it because it just never seems to work um, but there's plenty of videos out there of people rolling and tipping and with the right paint you can get an absolutely stunning finish very very similar to spraying probably not as good as spraying but it's very very similar um, and you don't get any of the overspray and all the other hassles that you get with spraying the next roller that we use this is the one we use the most this is a, what we call a fluffy roller um, they're pretty cheap um, we get them in Australia from a place called Bunnings but um, yeah these these will be available all around the world they do fall apart a wee bit when you start using them with like two pack epoxies and stuff like that and oil base does struggle a little bit with with the bristles like the, some of these these fluffy bits actually come out but what i actually do when i'm going to start oil painting with one i'll put a new one on my roller and i'll just get a wide brush and just give it a quick scuff over and it rips any of the of the loose ones out um, and that stops most probably about 90 percent of the issues by doing that um, i use this when i do my technique of cool i call painting with a bow wave so when I'm trying to put on the thickest possible coat that I can get on anything, um, I push so much paint that there's a bow wave coming off the front of the roller. These are the ones I use because they hold a huge amount of paint. Um, and yeah, there's other videos on, on our channel on that as to why I paint like that. But basically it's the, the best way that I've found to get a, a ridiculously thick coat is to use one of these really high nap um, fluffy rollers. And then finally the third type of roller, that one's going to disappear in the wind, the third type of roller is what's called a mohair roller so I'll just show you that so it's quite small so it's probably only maybe I don't know five mil the the nap size is only maybe five mil it's pretty small um, these I, I personally don't like these um, I was told to use these because they give the best finish for two pack epoxies and things like that I think they're absolutely rubbish um, the, the finish that you get off these is just junk um, it's it's basically the same as what you get off this and this is the cheapest crappest roller you can get um, in saying that, some people rave about them, but you, you just can't get away from the orange, peely, rolly look. Um, so whenever we want to go with a really beautiful finish, um, we don't roll. We always uh, spray. Um, so I'll give you, a, I'll take you around the corner and I'll show you a wall that we sprayed about a year ago, and you'll see the reason why. So this wall was painted about a year ago. It's been in a ridiculously dusty yard, and you can still see how glossy it is. Um, we pretty much haven't washed this for a year. Um, we sprayed it, paint went really hard and we've just left it um, but you can still see just the level of gloss and everything you've got and that's just from, yeah, that's from spraying um, it's a wee bit hard to see but it's just a really beautiful finish on it um, compared to what we can achieve with rolling and, and brushing and tipping and all that sort of stuff um, and the other thing, it's fast, you know like I, I could spray this entire wall in probably 10 minutes um, and get that finish whereas if I was rolling that it would probably take me, I don't know 40 minutes or an hour something like that if I was tipping it it would take me even longer maybe an hour and a half um, it's fine if you're just doing like a little bench or something like that it's easy to roll and tip something like that because it's only a little space and it takes ages to set a spray gun up to do it um, but you know if you've got a big space to do if you're painting a repainting a cabin or if you're doing like a kitchen or something like that um, yeah it's, it's so worth doing the spray gun idea and if you've never done it before give it a go like just I mean they're cheap as buy one get a good compressor make sure you take all the water out of your ear and, and just teach yourself how to do it. There's bucket loads of YouTube videos. Um, you'll stuff it up the first couple of times, but so what, sand the runs out and start again. It's no big deal. So I hope you enjoyed that. We've got heaps more coming up on building brew pig. So please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you thought it was awesome, share it with your mates.